Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, today's video is going to be um, the artifact of the massive cave. It's going to be underwater, so uh, right there below me. The location is 71.5 and 0. This is the rough location on the map at the blue arrow. So what I'm going to do is land uh, on the side first. Because I'm going to dive here. I'm going to land on the side. I'm going to bring out my shadow main and put on my scuba diving gear. You just need a scuba diving tank that's enough because it's it's just a brief uh, uh, dive into the water until you get in, into the entrance and then you don't need the scuba diving tank so you go all the way down like this so you can use any um, creature it doesn't need to have like limited oxygen so when you see this purple circle there this is the entrance in front of you it's gonna be here Go all the way to the end and then go up, upwards. And you come here. So now we just put out our shadow main and bring uh, a flyer. This. So put back my flak armor and fly upwards. We need to fly this way. So keep flying all the way up. And now we're at the beginning of the cave. As you can see there are a lot of uh, creatures here. So spiders, snakes, Desmodus inside too. So the beginning of the cave is kind of uh, annoying, but then things get easier. So, so as you can see, the spider when he shoots a web, uh, it unlatches my Desmodus from the wall. But I'm gonna try and shoot them here while latching. It's just convenient. Oops, I ran out of ammo from my shotgun. But I have a really good good uh, compound bow. So the compound bow, you need it because I think the shotgun is not going to hack it when you want to kill the Desmodus. You're going to see in a bit. So I'm just going to use... The lag is... Uh, I have a little lag, so... The shooting might be might not be perfect because it's just lagging. It's not letting me hold the uh, arrow all the way back and then shoot, so I can get full damage. So just kill these. So I was lucky I found this uh, crossbow. I mean compound bow. It's pretty pretty strong. See, see the damage like two thousand five hundred something on these Arthrobias or whatever. So now just uh, harvest the dead bodies with the Desmodus and put the blood packs before he eats them. Put them on your hot bar so that when you get picked up by a Desmodus. It doesn't suck up your blood, it sucks up the blood that is on the uh, on your inventory. Because it's a big, uh, very high probability that, you know, you're going to be picked up by a Desmondus. But we're going to try to kill them before they come here. Okay, I'm aiming at the center and shooting. But nothing is happening, so I'm not sure what's the problem. 
I'll just kill it with the shadow main. Sometimes there's lag, like, uh, you know, lag on the server, and it doesn't... It doesn't allow you to shoot correctly, so... So if you aim at the center of the thing, it will not hit it, you know? Sometimes you have to aim just a little bit higher and then shoot. But there's something wrong. I don't think... But here, here's the uh, the most dangerous area. So this gate here, uh, there will be Desmodus on the ceiling, a lot of them. So usually at least four uh, on the ceiling, and they will come and pick you up and break your armor and throw you on the ground and, and all kinds of stuff. So make sure to stay back uh, from this door kill all the stuff that you can see and then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just kill the Desmodus that, that are here you see there's one there so I'm gonna shoot it with the uh, compound bow and there you go one shot see it's, be it's because uh, it's a high level compound bow so it's much better than the shotgun very high damage and just one shot you know this one has more health I guess took two shots so let's see if there are any other Desmodus hanging okay there are two more so that's one there we go one shot and the other down so uh, the the compound bow is a really good weapon to drop these Desmodus from the ceiling so they don't uh, attack you so from now on we'll, we'll just uh, fly inside until we get to the maze because there's a big um, big maze inside but I'm gonna show you the the details of the maze now walk it uh, by foot so you guys can know the uh, track last time I did it with a Desmodus flying but it doesn't show uh, the path clearly when you're flying the Desmodus inside a small narrow maze here's a loot crate here I'm not gonna pick it up just uh, because it takes, it's gonna take some time to kill these creatures there's another uh, loot crate here to the left at the lava this is a red one and it doesn't have that many creatures so let's check it out nice ascendant pick So we take it and then you go to this entrance here. This small door. The Desmodus is not gonna go through, so jump off, cryopod the Desmodus, and go down the stairs. And as you can see, I'm wearing a bulb dog to show me the way because there are so many these traps here, pressure plates, and uh, pikes that come out of the ground when you step on them so it's important to have a light to show you the the ground so as you can see you need to walk very very slowly and it's better to know the way so that's the first part of the maze then here you jump over these plates and these pressure plates here on the ground you go left and then here you go right just walk slowly and uh, pay attention to the ground so here you need to jump too because these are spikes 
and you come to this color uh, stage so you press green yellow purple and then blue these combinations don't change so you can note them down and then there's this uh, door to the side don't don't go through it just go down these stairs here go all the way down and watch out for these uh, squares in the middle and the circles on the sides because they all shoot uh, arrows at you they don't kill you but I mean they do a lot of damage I'm gonna show you how much damage they do so at the end of the video jump over here there's our spikes here go to the left left side here you have two choices you have to jump over this one too because if you fall you die also almost hit these spikes did you see that so you need to measure your jump so that you don't uh, land on them on the spikes here you go in the middle avoid the white circles two white circles here too covered with the rubble and the skeletons so you, you need the light definitely <laughs> to see to see the ground uh, here, jump over the spikes. This is just uh, the you know these uh, sides where you have colors and numbers. They're, they're just to give you the combination, but we already know it, so no need. Here we can go through this way. This is closed, gonna be, so we need to go through this hallway. and jump over this and pay attention for the pressure plates on the ground and here you have two options let's just go straight it's the second time I run the maze so I'm I might be I'm not lost but I mean you know I'm on the correct way now so once you get these, you can actually walk over these. Here's a loot crate. Watch out for the pressure plates in front of it. Spinal saddle, not bad. So you can walk from this one to this one, but I'm going to jump uh, just in case. Jump here too, and then to the left. There we go and just keep walking slow and looking at the ground making sure there are no pl pressure plates these squares also shoot arrows so avoid them jump over this and now we have two ways this way is closed yeah it's a dead end so go through here I mean, sometimes you're gonna run into like uh, dead ends, but so far we're ran into one dead end. So here you jump over and you go left. And you arrive to this uh, color combination area. Here. Uh, you can you can do the combination uh, wrong like it's green purple I'm gonna do blue and then uh, yellow which is wrong and the door doesn't open but you you get a second chance so I mean you can try it again so it's not a problem but the combination is uh, green you can also note this this one down purple yellow and then blue so once you press it this door opens up you go inside and there's the artifact of the massive 
So as you can see, it takes some time to get to it, but it's nothing uh, impossible. So I have my otter with me, just to take the artifact twice, because it's a pain to get it. <laughs> so, you know, like each time uh, I come here, I also use a miner's helmet on my utter to give me light, because now I have to put away my uh, bulb dog, so I have uh, no other lights. The bulb dog is perfect for the lighting, I mean, I, I like I like it a lot, so... So now I have my udder. As you can see, when you put in first person mode, the light goes out. You know, it doesn't show you anything. So here's a button here, beside these green mushrooms. And a door opens in front of you. Go to the right. And watch out for these pressure plates and the uh, square in the middle here. Just don't do. Don't step on them. So these stairs don't have anything on them, so you can run up the stairs fine. This is the door we came in from. And this is the button to open up the side door. So we can get out of the maze. So we go up here. And it takes us to the first colored room that we were in, the first door. So here we need to take a left and then a right. Just watch out for the pressure plates. <laughs> there we go. And then take a right here, jump over these spikes. And go up the stairs. And since those are the last pressure plates, I'm going to show you, if you step on one of them, what, what's going to happen. So let's do the last ones, you know. And watch my health, you know. So I'm going to step on this, step on this. And there's one left. As you can see, a quarter of my health uh, went down. My health is about like 530, so... So it's not going to kill you instantly, but it's going to damage you uh, heavily. So. so here at the end of the tunnel, put out the Desmodus. And fly away. And as you can see, the wild Desmodus uh, spawned again. They're on the ceiling. But uh, if you're fast enough, you can kill them, st you know, sit down and kill them. But if you're fast enough, you can fly like this, like I'm doing, and then go down this uh, well here. This is the way we came in, so just go as fast as possible and they're not going to be able to catch you or follow you. So land here. Put out the Desmodus and then put out the Shadow Mane. It's a nice cave, you know? So put back the scuba diving uh, tank and jump with the shadow main all the way down keep going down so it's a nice cave a um, little bit of you know different maze so you swim up here and that's it so uh, I hope you guys liked uh, the, the cave tour today uh, we're going to be touring all the caves in Fjordor so please like share and subscribe support us with a like see you in the next video bye